hi everyone! Uh, I don't know if it's obvious, but I'm recording this video with no script, and I'm just gonna ramble because I, I don't know what to talk about for this video. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to, uh, join the other hordes of, of Warrior Cats artists who, um, who make character designs for all the, all the cats. So, uh, I'm, I'm making a design blog because I am very original with my ideas. I'm so original. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try and stick to doing them in, in the order that the cats appear in, which means first up is Tiger Claw, who is sort of the, like the protagonist, not protagonist, but like sort of the point of view character of half of the prologue of the first book sort of, or at the very least the prologue, the first half of the prologue follows him in in that battle against River Clan. so I'm drawing him first. Um, I, I am very particular about the way that I design cats, especially, especially if they have, like, parents or siblings. I will always try to incorporate familial traits in my designs, and something that I, I've uh, anytime I draw a Tiger Star. I've drawn Tiger Star a bunch of times before. Um, not recently though, not recently. But every time I do, I always make his fur color like a dark reddish brown because, I mean, Pine Star is his dad. It, it, it makes sense for him to, to carry on that reddish brown. I love, I honestly, I think I've sort of taken inspiration from the way My Little Pony does genetics. I just, I love taking the exact colors from the parents and adding them to the to the children like I, I i know a lot of people will like color shift and i'm like no <laughs> it needs to be the exact colors and they'll even do things like let's say there's uh a, 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 an orange cat with a lighter underbelly has a cat who's like light orange i'll color pick <laughs> the muzzle color from the darker orange parent cat and make that the color of the kit. I'm like, I don't know why I do this. I don't know why I do this. And I, I, I hate taking from like anything other than the parents when it comes to designing kits. I don't know why, I think it might've been, I don't know if this is true. Don't, don't, um, don't hate me if this isn't true because I don't know if it is, but I thought I heard somewhere. I, okay, back, backstory, backstory time. Back in like 2017, I like got back into Warrior Cats for a little bit um which is when i started like really it was that was like the first time that i started revamping my my warriors au and i got into like cat genetics because i was like oh i, I can't I, you can't design warrior cats characters you have to you, or you have to make them realistic you can't design warrior cats characters unrealistically you gotta know cat genetics definitely <laughs> and i was super into that for a while I dropped the whole thing pretty quickly because it was just it was super restricting um but um oh where was i going with this oh i thought i heard somewhere that with cat genetics there isn't really anything like like grandparents can't pass down anything to their to their grandchildren in cats like the the, the like cat genetics stop at the parents no idea if that's true or not but that's what i heard somewhere don't don't take my word for it but i remember hearing that and i internalized it so i now feel the need to to, to continue that through my warriors designs even though I don't necessarily care about the designs being realistic. Um, I mean, I mean, is a is a reddish brown, massive tabby cat with jet black stripes. Is that really realistic? I don't know if it is. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I like internalized that for for my design process, but I, I I try and follow that through basically every single cat I design who has parents. And with Tiger Star, I, um, in my mind, it's like, okay, so he's, he's like a reddish brown because Pine Star, his dad, is reddish brown, and his stripes are going to be the same exact, his, his stripes are going to be the same exact color of black that Leopard Foot is, his mom, that's her name, right, Leopard Foot? Yeah, that's, that's her name, that's her name. I, I could check the wiki, I need, I haven't reread Blue Star's Prophecy yet, I'm, I'm rereading the books right now, I'm trying to go in release order, but I'm like, I'm, I'm on, I'm almost done with Outcast. Almost. As of the time I, I upload this video, it'll- I'll probably be done by it- done with it by then, 
but like I, I, if I'm, I, I told myself, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna read through the books in release order, and I have to skip Gray Stripes Adventure just because like I, I used to own all the all the mangas as they used to be called. I used to own them all, but um, I, I don't know where most of them went. They just like disappeared over the years, so I don't have the full set of Gray Stripes Adventure. Um, and I can't find a PDF of it online, so I can't read that. Um, I have Secrets of the Clans. I can read that. Um, but as for... That only leaves Firestar's Quest, which I have been putting off. Which I, ch I shouldn't be putting off. I, I don't want to judge it too harshly. But like, uh, I don't know. I don't care that much about the Sky Clan books. Like, Sky Clan as it is now... Um, in in the recently released books is probably fine. Like I I skipped ahead and I read the first book of Starless Clan and I loved it. I loved I, I'm loving what what um, what's going on in the Starless Clan currently. And from what I understand of the past two arcs, Skyland is fine. I don't hate Sky Clan. I just hate I've never I was never a fan of of the modern sky clan books like uh fire stars quest and i don't think i ever even read sky clan's destiny like i bought the book as a kid but i never read it because i was just like do do i care <laughs> do i care um but yeah I'm, re I'm reading through the books right now and i am dreading reading fire stars quest and and oh my god i, I i've got to make this super quick I've got to conclude this because uh, I rambled for so long on Tiger, on, on Tiger Claw that I had to slow down the speed paint footage. Ah, I've got to conclude this. This is a Tiger, this is a Tiger Claw. Uh, we're moving on, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, next, I'm drawing Oak Heart. Um, I don't, I, okay. River Clan in my mind, flowy, flowy. Their River Clan is very flowy for obvious reasons because they're they're river clan they they swim they're elegant they usually have like longer flowier pelts than the other clans so i was like okay i want him to look flowy i i need for him to just have like one continuous line through his design and i was like okay yes yes this works i don't know what else to say about okart because like you know i i, I read through the books um before when I was a kid, and so I should be able to remember Oakheart, but like through my reread right now, all Oakheart is to me was the guy who got crushed and Tiger Claw was like, oh yeah, he killed Redtail. Definitely. It was definitely him and not me. <laughs> That's all Redtail, or not Redtail. That's all Oakheart is to me currently. Um, I guess, I guess he's all, he, he, he is also Blue Star's boyfriend not boyfriend boyfriend i feel like is even stretching it like they got together very very briefly and then we're like nope <laughs> calling it off um i mean they were together so i guess i guess you could call him her previous boyfriend right i don't i don't even know what am i what's to say about okart he's kind of boring in my mind at least in my memory i don't remember a whole lot about him aside from him being cat attractive maybe like attractive in the minds of the other cats maybe i don't know <laughs> And next, I am drawing Mousefur, who I struggled a bit with her design initially. Um, not for any major reasons. I was just like, I, I, I felt like I had a, an image of who Mousefur is in my mind. And even, even in the final product of her design, I wasn't able to capture what I imagined her as very well. Like, I, I feel like the design I have looks like Mousefur. You know, I could show people my, my, my Mousefur design and be like, 
this is my mouse fur design and they're like yeah yeah that's mouse fur but then but then i don't know i just i have a very specific image in my mind of what she looks like and i could not get it down it's, it was like so unspecific but I, I i i like i couldn't translate that because i didn't know what i was translating <laughs> um yeah mouse fur mouse fur she's she's kind of interesting to me because she was kind of a nobody in the first series like like she showed up in the first series she did things but like running wind also did things and running wind is just a guy he's like hardly a character um like in my mind mouse fur's like most prominent scene was um it was at a gathering and and, and, Lo and leopard fur was talking to fireheart and leopard fur was being like she usually is and mouse fur came up and was like and was like it said something like super snarky to her um like made a joke to her or something and i was like hell yeah you you go mouse fur um so like mouse fur in the first arc kind of stands out to me as like a nobody character because i i love the nobody characters i love when the characters just like are nobodies and they don't they're just not anything at all because you <laughs> because you can do whatever you want with them um but yeah then but then mouse fur i feel like she's more pr she's definitely more prominent as an elder in in the eyes of the fandom which is interesting to me because she's an arc one cat um and not only an, uh, and not not oh my god not only an arc one cat but one of the first ever appearing cats in the entire series i mean you'd think people would would see her more as like the younger version of herself but no no people see her as an elder which to be fair most of her appearances post arc one is as an elder she spent like a little over half of the new prophecy as a warrior just kind of like lingering in the background and then she became an elder and then immediately did the iconic uh did, she did her iconic um holding a clan meeting scene which i think it's really funny that people always bring that up and they're like oh my god mouse fur is such a girl boss look at her go she's calling a clan meeting but like the context of that she was calling a clan meeting to be racist <laughs> and i feel like we don't acknowledge that enough but i i I think that the idea of that is funny like people acknowledging her and being like oh yeah girl boss mouse fur we love you mouse fur look at her go calling a clan meeting all on her own look at you being racist <laughs> um i i know partially that's just because like the scene gets shared out of context and people were like oh my god this is so funny but i it's it's like people not realizing what the context of her calling a clan meeting for no, people not understanding the context behind that i think that's funny i think that's really funny um what else is there to say about mouse fur i, I love her relationship with Longtail, don't we all um but that i think that concludes my thoughts on mouse fur asexual aromantic icon mouse fur <laughs> okay so so i'm drawing red tail the dead guy. That's who he is in my mind. Red Tail is the dead guy. But like, he really can't be anything else. Actually, that's a lie. No, 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 I'm lying. I lied. I just lied to you. No, there is something else that he could be in, in, in your mind. And that is transgender icon Red Tail, who is also a dead guy. <laughs> like, like, who, who is he? Like, I, even, I read Red Tail's Debt when it came out. I bought the book the week it came out. I still couldn't tell you who this guy is. <laughs> and yet, I don't know why I, I like, I'm, I'm attached to him. I think it's the fact that he's trans. I think I'm just attached to the, to the, to the, um, to the cats. Everyone, uh, headcanons is trans. I think that's why. I think that's why I also like Rowan Claw. <laughs> um... Red Tail. There's not much I can say about his design other than um, I kind of based my design of him off of the wiki sprite, him being like like red with red and brown mostly. But I also made him, I gave him a lot of white on him, which wasn't a part of his wiki sprite, which I'm assuming means um, that that's not something a part of his canon design, which could be wrong. Like, I'm not going to assume that it's 100% canon because he could have white on him. I, I don't know. I only glanced at the wiki. Um, but I, I, the, the idea of Redtail being, having like lots of white on him, like we can blame SSS Warrior Cats for that, right? Like the, 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 um, 
the red tail SSS warrior cats design. We can blame for that though. Oh, oh my god, the SSS warrior cats designs. Is there anything more iconic in this fandom? Because every single one of those designs in my mind is influential. Like if you look, even even if with even with my designs, you can go through and pick out parts of my designs that that were also part of the SSS Warrior Cats designs. Like like Tiger Claw being sort of reddish brown. Like like I feel like that's that's even something that you can see in in SSS Warrior Cats. Um, Blue Star having like a like a little silver thing on her nose bridge. Is that the word for it? Nose bridge. I don't know. Like that silver thing she has, that is SSS Warrior Cats in my mind. Um, a lot of people give Lionheart like a, like a little mustache. That's very SSS Warrior Cats. Um, even like like Smudge having a bit of a like a how would you describe Sp Smudge's voice? Um, like giving him a bit of a like a, like a speech impediment. Seeing that. That feels like something that, that has just become a thing on its own, which is interesting to me. Who are we talking about? We were talking about Redtail. I totally forgot what cat we were on. <laughs> this just goes to show how much of a character Redtail is. I talked about other characters while I'm supposed to be drawing Redtail. Blue Star is next, and y you know there's not a whole lot I can say about my Blue Star design, just because I feel like... I feel like Blue Star is one of those characters that just, like, she's so, hmm, she's very recognizable. And it's hard to, to change aspects of what Blue Star looks like without not making it look like Blue Star in my mind. The, the, to be fair, to be fair, Blue Star, her color palette is very recognizable. Her being that blue-gray, looking very noble, and you know, like that image of her, I feel like is very hard to not be able to portray, just like in combination. Like you can change a few things with her design or, or like her color palette and still make it look like Blue Star, but at the same time, in my mind at least, Blue Star is Blue Star. Like there's not a whole lot I can say about her design because in my mind, she's a very distinct character. Um, yeah, there's really not a lot I can say here. Um, I almost gave her like a like a like a star um like <laughs> I love the idea of of the leaders all having like star shapes on their designs somewhere just cuz it's like such a such an iconic part of like Warrior Cats fandom designs that I I feel like it should be a part of everyone else's designs <laughs> because it's just it's such a it's an iconic design choice that's been around since the beginning um and it also it also signifies like oh these cats are special um com compared to everyone else um there is one i i've thought about this for a while and i didn't end up doing it clearly but um i thought about when des when designing the leaders for, for for the burning light um my warriors au if you don't know when i was de when i was designing the leaders for that i thought about incorporating like a stud, like stuttle, stuttle. That's not a word. A subtle star shape somewhere in their design. They have like they have the star. They have the leader star, somewhere on their design from birth, which subtly indicates that they are, I guess, destined to become leader. Which, um, in a way, I might have been able to get to work because of um, a lot of a lot of stuff in the burning light. Um, but I ended up deciding against it just because I don't I didn't know how to make it work mostly with Pike star and bristle stars designs because they're very basic looking characters color wise and marking wise like Pike star is just a black cat in in bristle star is just a gray cat with lighter markings so it was hard for me to give them those subtle star shapes in their designs without standing out too much and being overly obvious I feel like I could have done it with with morning star and and dawn star but yeah i don't know i don't I, I couldn't figure it out i couldn't figure it out um anyways that's blue star i don't know what else to say about her <laughs> spotted leaf spotted leaf oh sweet spotted leaf where to begin with you oh man she sucked to draw <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious based on how, like, you're gonna see this in the speed paint, but she was 
awful to, to figure out a design for. In the end, like, I'm okay with the fact that she was a pain to, to draw, but, um, like, I couldn't get her right. Um, I, you could probably, you, you can see on the side of the screen, um, I have, like, concept art for the designs that I did forever ago, um, on the side of the screen that I just, I decided to leave in because I couldn't figure out a way to crop this, the speed paint footage to keep them out so you get to look at them. Um, and I, 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 I initially was just like, okay, we can, we can take this but make it better. And I was just like, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> um, I ended up looking a lot at, I, I ended up looking at a lot of, um, other Spotted Leaf designs just to get some inspiration. Um, the, I, the one thing I, I didn't want to change though was the freckles on her face. I, I love giving cats freckles. <laughs> um, I, I love doing it. And another thing I wanted to keep was her having the same color palette as Redtail. If you'll notice, I keep, I'll, I'll like keep pulling um, Redtail's design up while drawing Spotted Leaf. And it's because, uh, obvious reasons, I, 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 they have the same color palette and I wanted to make sure they looked like siblings because they are canonically siblings. Which, speaking of that, um, I feel like that's like one of the few Warrior Cats family tree retcons that I'm actually kind of okay with. Um, Willow Pelt also being their sibling is very iffy, but I don't know, I, I like, I like that idea. I like them being siblings. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because they, they talk about how Redtail has been Blue Star's deputy for a, for a long time when he dies, and then they also describe, Graypaw's the one who says this both times. Graypaw's like, oh yeah, Redtail's, Redtail's, um, been deputy for a really long time, um, and Spotted Leaf, she's like super young and pretty. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but the first book is the first book. Like, so, oh my god, so much got retconned from the first book. But, um, I don't know, I, I like that idea. I like them being siblings. It doesn't make much sense with the first book, but I, I don't really care. I, li I like it. I like them being siblings. Um, mostly because, um, I don't know, they're both tortoiseshells. It makes sense that they're related. Not that it, not that they necessarily have to be related, but I don't know. I just, I, I like that. I, I like them being related. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, you know, I've been rereading the books recently, as I've said a, a whole bunch of times during this video. Um, and, you know, Spotted Leaf needs to go away. I'm honestly, I'm kind of, I'm really loving Power of Three so far. I, I'm really enjoying Power of Three a lot more than the New Prophecy. Not that I hated New Prophecy. New Prophecy um, I don't think it's as, like, god-awful as people say it is, but it's, it's, mm, I, uh, mm. <laughs> New Prophecy was a, was an experience. Um, but, you know, she needs to go away. <laughs> god, I can't, I can't stand her. I'm sorry, I can't stand her. Not necessarily from anything she's done, but because she's just, every time a character has a dream, she comes down and is like, hello, it is me, beautiful spotted leaf, smell me, I smell so good, I'm so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. and like, like, I, I, I don't want to blame her for this, this is, I'm blaming the writers, um, it, she, I, I don't like her, I don't like her, I need her to go away, and part of the reason why I'm enjoying, uh, Omen, uh, not Omen of the Stars, Power of Three so much is that spotted leaf is noticeably absent not absent like she's she's there she uh jay feather met her at one point um but like i feel like i feel like at least here whenever jay feather has a dream and talks to a dead dead person it's either rock or it's like yellow fang um or like someone else in like a like a super um what's the word i can't think of a name like a super um like a super specific scene um for the plot like oh in, in outcast he sees feathertail in star clan because he needs to go to the tribe and stuff like that like i don't know <laughs> what I, this video sure is going to be a video because i am just rambling and i'm saying things and oh man i'm i've rambled about spotted leaf for six minutes at this point, exactly six minutes. Um, so I think I need to stop talking about Spotted Leaf and move on.
Next is Smudge. Um, I just wanted him to be round. Though, though, I guess, I guess that does kind of, um, contradict things later in the book. Because, um, you know, Fire, Fire Pot, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty leaves when, when he, when him and Smudge, I assume, they're, I assume they're both the same age. So, he leaves when they're six months old. And then he comes, not that he comes back, but he bumps into Smudge later in the book while he's like on a hunting mission and he's like whoa smudge you went to the cutter <laughs> you're you're chubbier and smudge is like yeah <laughs> so you know maybe um maybe when i design him older he i can just accentuate the roundness of smudge i don't know, I, I i i i love the idea of smudge being overly round um just because i i think that provides a lot more of like a like it like it, it's able to di differentiate between how like slender and muscly and you know like sharp looking the the ca clan cats look and then you have round round smudge very very round smudge being a house cat and he's cute i love smudge like he he doesn't really show up a whole lot especially not in the first series i can't even think of a time that smudge showed up in the first series after he, he bumped into, into Firepaw later in the first book. Does he even show up later? I know he's in Firestar's quest. He shows up there. Um, but like, aside from that, um, like, aside from that, I, I don't know if he ever shows up. And uh, I wasn't initially going to draw this guy, but I was just like, you know what? If we're doing a warrior cast design blog, then then I feel the need to go all out. So we're drawing Henry. <laughs> um, if you're unaware of who Henry is, he he um, he does not appear. He does not appear at all. And I I believe he's only ever mentioned in the first book. Um, notably only in the first few chapters of the first book before Rusty even, like, joins ThunderClan. Um, if you, if you don't remember, um, earlier in the book, uh, Rusty is like, I'm gonna go out into the forest, and Smudge is like, don't do that. Um, Henry says all the, you know, there's, like, scary wild cats who live out there who, like, eat their babies and you know, all that stuff. And Rusty's like, Henry has not been out into the woods. He he has not even left his garden since he went to the vet. He's lazy, and all he wants to do is eat and sleep. Um, and Smudge says that he caught a robin in there. Um, and then later, I don't I didn't even remember this, but I, I looked at the at his wiki page, and Smudge apparently later says, like, hey, I know I know Henry's like all lazy now, but you don't have to leave and join Thunder Clan or whatever. Like you know, we can still have fun, which I think is really <laughs> such a such a cute scene. Or not cute, but like sweet that, that Smudge is like trying to convince Rusty to stay. Um, but um, yet yeah, Henry never shows up. He never shows up at all. Um, everyone draws him as like a brown tabby though. And I've always imagined him as a brown tabby. So I think, I think this is just one of those cases where the fandom has come together and has collectively decided yes. Henry is a brown tabby cat. It doesn't say that he is anywhere, but we are deciding he's a brown tabby cat. I also looked at the wiki and apparently one of, was it Kate Carey? It might have been Kate Carey, I don't remember. One of the authors said that, that Henry was a brown tabby. So she apparently agrees. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can say about Henry. He doesn't show up, he's only mentioned. And what are his characteristics? He's, uh, he's been to the vet. He caught a robin. He's apparently old and fat, according to according to Rusty. And that's Henry. He's um yep, he's my new favorite Warrior Cats character, because he can be whoever I want him to be. My headcanon, Henry is actually Purdy. That's the new headcanon, guys. Henry is just one of Purdy's um many names that he had, and he was once uh, Firestar's neighbor. That, yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, 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 it could, that could actually kind of, that, that could, that could be true. <laughs> like, Henry is such a nothing character. Him being purdy, like, it could be true. There is nothing to Henry. <laughs>
And finally, the man himself, Fire Rusty. Rusty, he's not Firestar yet, or Fireheart, or Firepaw. I'll probably redraw him at every like stage of his life. So I'll draw him as as Firepaw, and then Fireheart, and then I'll draw him as Firestar. Um, yeah, I feel like oh my god, I don't even know what to talk about with with Rusty, because he has like he's he's Firestar. Everyone knows what Firestar looks like. Orange cat, give it, slap on some cool fire markings on him. Give him his green eyes, and if he's still a kitty pet, give him his blue collar. Call it a day. Like he's such a. He, on one hand, he's such an easy character to design and visualize, but at the same time, he was actually kind of hard. Like, um, because at least in recent years, I've seen a lot of um, different design ideas for Firestar. Like I've seen a lot of. Um, people making him like darker um and making him oh i can't even remember what the breed of cat is but they'll make him like a specific breed of cat which that's like kind of reddish brown and like kind of fire colored i guess i'm looking up what the name of this cat is like i can't <laughs> i think it starts with an s it's a Somal somali cat yeah that's what they end up making him which yeah i vibe with i i could see that um personally though um I don't know. I'm I've, I'm just I'm not big on like making cats particular cat breeds. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I don't like doing it. Part I think I think partially just with you know Rusty in mind. I have such a, like a like a specific image of him. Like I can't draw him in any other way that's not like bright orange cat on the front cover of Into the Wild. <laughs> like him on the front cover of Into the Wild is Firestar to me. Like I, I, I feel like I can't spice him up anymore in a way that doesn't make him look, you know, at least resemble how he looks on the on the original Wayne McLaughlin covers of the first arc. Like that image of Firestar, like I can't erase that. That is Firestar in my mind and he can't be anything else to me. Um what else is there to say? It's Firestar. And, and, and even then I'm gonna I'm gonna be redrawing him in the future. So like there's plenty of things I can talk about with Firestar, but I think I should save those for the future when um you know when when um I'm drawing like Firepaw and Fireheart and Firestar. So I think I'll leave it there. And that is all of the cats for the first part of this design series. Um, I will be drawing more cats. Um, I will be picking this up, probably starting with, with Graypaw, honestly. I'll probably start with Graypaw. Um, yeah, I'll continue the series. Um, I will link my design blog in the description and you guys can go check it out. Check out the designs that I did for this video. And I also, um, if you have any questions about like my, my videos, or, or um, my OCs or, or whatever. If you have any questions uh, and, you, and you like desperately need them answered, you'll probably get your answer quickest on Tumblr. So, so if you have any questions, that's probably the best place to go and ask them. Uh, aside from that, there's not much else I can say here, but I hope you all enjoyed seeing me draw some Canon Warriors characters for a change. Um, and I will be back next week with another video.